Good evening, folks. Here are five critical studies relating to the disaster cycle, ones that have helped reshape our understanding of the ongoing event and what's coming. We begin with the paper that confirmed how rapidly things will spiral out of control when the magnetic field enters its final acceleration to excursion and rapid reversal. Based on the other studies we've seen, we know Earth lost about 10% of its magnetic field from the 1800s until the year 2000, but it's lost about another 10% up to now. We've had confirmation that the Earth's magnetic field is now diminishing 10 times faster than before, from 5% lost per century to 5% lost per decade. And when we hit that critical acceleration, it will be 5% every year, and then 5% about every month. When that happens, the weather and crust and mantle and radiation will be changing so quickly that we'll see the finality of the event within just a couple years. We are not there yet. Could be tomorrow, could be the 2030s, but even without that acceleration, we're down in the 2040s at the current rate. And then, when that happens, we're in trouble. We're on to the best paper of 2019, the one that pulled together all of the data on the last several magnetic events of the 12,000-year cycle, and showed how they took out several species each time, and delivered a major biosphere blow to the entire planet. The world's best, in the world's number one geophysics journal, delivering the bad news. Of course, the worst news is that we're due for that exact event again now, right on time, and Earth's magnetic field is weakening on track to the next age of Earth. Next, we're on to the Sun, and here's where things begin to get interesting, because it turns out the Sun's biggest superflare cycles are 3,000 and 6,000 years. These are part of the very familiar harmonic of dansgaard oschker or Bond events every 1,000 to 1,500 years, the Heinrich events every 6,000 years, and of course the big one at 12,000 years, all of which do right now. It would only be a few months until they were put together officially in what is now known as the Heinrich Bond Solar Cycle, where it is the major events on the Sun that dictate these extreme climate events, and it makes sense given that the best way to quickly destabilize the ice sheets is to have a supreme solar plasma injection at the polar cusps. And that was four, and now last but not least, the study that seems to indirectly confirm the solar micronova event at these 12,000-year cycles. The galactic current sheet has been well observed, both here and in other galaxies, but there's a problem. They can't figure out how it exists to such a degree when its waveform buoyancy should be suppressed in their models. Something has to be keeping it energized along the way. Well, they were able to sustain this Parker-like instability wave with supernova in their models, but there's another problem. There aren't enough supernova in the galaxy over time to do it. That's pretty much where they left off. However, since we know that smaller nova, dwarf nova, micro nova, and super flares can put off almost as much power, and since those are 10,000 to 100,000 times more numerous than the larger supernova, they can do the job. In case you need that spelled out, that means the only way to fix galactic astrophysics in terms of the observations of the current sheet are tons of micro nova like events from the stars as they are hit by the sheet allowing for a constant re-injection of the wave potential. The galactic dust and galactic magnetic reversal coming with the sheet will disrupt solar wind outflow, accumulate dust and gas in the corona, blocking sunlight and turning the sun red and then nearly black. And then, perhaps just a few hours to days later, like a snake shedding its skin, it erupts as the internal pressure buildup overcomes the outer layer, and the micronova puts the nail in the Holocene. How does it feel knowing we've got over 400 papers confirming every aspect of this cycle in the past and right now? I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.